Hi everyone, so baby Jackson is here. He arrived three days ago. I gave birth to him at home and I really wanted to share with you my labor and delivery story. This video is going to be a mix of footage that we got on the day and me talking you through it um, because obviously as things got more intense, it was harder to pick up the camera and update. So we'll kind of like jump back and forth. Right, hi guys, it is now 20 past one on Saturday. Last night was like a false start. I had two hours of contractions, what I thought was contractions every eight minutes. And then I spoke to the midwives and they said, third labors can be really start and stop. And then they just stopped. <laughs> and it was midnight and I was like, I'm just gonna go to bed. And while I was asleep, I didn't get any. And then all this morning was nothing. And then in the last like half an hour, they've been, um, I've been having like some pains every five minutes, only lasting like 30 seconds. but. They're worse than last night and I've now had like a bigger show, so quite a bit of blood. Um, so I've told, I've called Matt and told him to come home from work. My mum is going to take the boys to a birthday party that they are going to today for two hours. Um, oh, I'm getting one now actually, hold on. <laughs> right, just had a little one, it was like another, what was it? So that was, it had been three minutes three minutes, lasting 35 seconds. So Matt's on his way home, the kids are going out, and then I think I might just call the midwife. They said to call when they were every six minutes apart and lasting a minute, but they were every like three to five minutes lasting less, so I don't know, I'm gonna call them. Is Emily Norris? Yes. Yes, No, no I didn't, I had them in the hospital, but um, okay. the last one was quick. So we thought we'd have this one at home. Um, two shows now, quite a big show, um, but not no waters. Right, Speaking to the midwife that's coming, and she said she will be here in half an hour. They're still coming. They're still only like 30 to 45 seconds every like five minutes, and I can like breathe through them and talk between them. So you know they're not that bad. But the midwife was like, "Oh, it being your third baby, like I think I should just get there," kind of thing. Um, so yeah, so she's on her way. Matt's here, back from work. I said to Matt, I'm scared, like I'm scared to call the midwives. And I'm scared to like start setting stuff up in case it like jinxes it. I don't know why I'm being really superstitious, but I just don't want this to stop. I just really want the pain to like carry on. Just praying that this is it because I'm booked in for an induction tomorrow and I just really want to avoid it. contractions started to get worse for me and my most comfortable place to be was just swaying by the breakfast bar. I was so pleased that I didn't have to get in a car and drive to hospital because for me in the past that has been really really uncomfortable so to be able to just stay at home and relax and be in my own environment was such a plus. The midwife arrived and started doing all of my antenatal checks. She would check his heartbeat um, during contractions and between contractions. And I changed into my lucky black dress, which is what I have worn for all of my births. So I wore that when I gave birth to Fraser and Caleb, and I now believe that it brings me luck. monitor Jackson's heartbeat through my contractions and she said that even though my contractions were getting stronger that he was not bothered in the slightest. At this point Matt started to set everything up but we had waterproof dust sheets to cover our couches and black towels for when he arrived. Once I was five centimeters dilated I put my hypnosis on my headphones and I just really tried to listen to the words relax and breathe and concentrate on my hypnosis and try not to listen to anything else that was going on around me. So at this point my waters broke and things started moving really fast and getting really strong but I was still refusing any kind of pain relief because I still had such a fear of induction. I didn't want anything to slow my labour down so I was still saying no to everything um, but it was funny because I was probably about seven centimeters, so I was obviously in labor. But oh, this is just when okay. Three, nine, I'm one. struggling with my contractions, but I don't want any pain really. Third, and if you think because I don't want anything to slow it down. Quite promptly, please, because I've got second. That's so well hot. Done. 
well she was four an hour ago because things were moving so quickly as well the midwife was worried that i was going to tear so she recommended that i have some gas and air just to control my breathing and to maybe try and slow things down a little bit <laughs> the gas, the gas. <sighs> the gas use the gas breathe in remember to breathe I it's it. over. I, I can't. I can't. Can I not push it? Up? Not yet. Not yet. If you can breathe through it, then you carry on. Okay. Okay. You're doing brilliantly. I feel that I want to push, but I, yeah. but I don't want to. Your body will just take over. Okay? okay. So if you can still try and breathe, that's, just that's what I want try. you to do. And that's all that gas is doing for you at the minute. It's probably not doing much as a pain yeah. relief, but it's probably helping you breathe and control your breathing. All right. Okay. Hey Jackson, hello, can you hear him? No, hey, it's okay. It's just done hey. a wee on me. It's just done a wee. Yeah, I think I'm good. Hey, hey. Can we have the heating on? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right, right, he's here and he's crying, but he had a poo inside. So they're just checking him before I can hold him. But um, <laughs> but he's here and he's making noise, so that's, that's good. Yeah. But we don't know if we can swallow any more than that, all right? Because it can lead to like a bit of an infection and problems like that. So, oh, poor Bubba. So it's safe for food. Okay. okay. Oh. Jackson. <gasps> oh, Bubba. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Up nicely now as well. Yeah. Oh, hey. Yeah, well done. Oh, I didn't know it was going to be that quick. <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> What's the time? Brilliant. Brilliant. You kept me waiting, but when you decided you didn't want to. Yeah, oh. Does he look like Caleb did? Yeah. Does he look the same? Yeah. Oh. Oh, mister. Why'd you do a poo in there? I know. Didn't Kayla do that as well? Didn't Kayla do that as well? Fraser. Oh, Fraser. Uh, in the end, our midwife actually had to deliver Jackson on her own. You normally get two midwives, one for you and one for the baby. But our second midwife didn't arrive because it all just happened so quickly. So our poor midwife, she was amazing and she had to do it all on her own. We then had some skin to skin and I waited to deliver the placenta naturally. And it came out just on its own after 10 minutes with one contraction. Oh, you're gorgeous. Oh bless him, he's come through so quickly. Yeah, I know. He's, he's got little broken vessels in his eyes. Uh, they will take about six weeks for them to put okay. his eyes yeah. because he's just shot through so quickly. Oh yeah, exactly. Oh, hello. You're beautiful. Oh, let's go away because mum and dad want to know how much you weigh, little Jackson. Right guys, sorry Jackson, this is not very good but you're Oh, that's oh, quite good size. 3.45, would you agree? Yeah, yeah, 3.45 kilograms. Right, my little head circumference is 36.5. No. Oh, he's, he's looking at you. you. <laughs> <laughs> he's thinking, look at this he's woman. He's so like a lot. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, and then I called my mum to say that she should bring the boys back home from the party because obviously we didn't know how long it was going to be, so she wasn't sure. But they came home from the party and they were thrilled to meet their little brother. Hello. Jackson. He's here, yeah. Do you want to meet him? Yeah. Yeah? Your little brother? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can meet him. They say they're from Jackson. They say they're from Jackson. I think that top one's for Caleb. Yeah. And that big one's for you. Put your lights safe as you wanted. Wow, Fraser, what a good brother. Hulk smash hands. Oh, I'm so 
Are you hugging it with your whole cats? Oh, you got your present. Oh, baby, come out. Oh, baby, yeah. come out my tummy. Caleb, Caleb, what's his name? Jackson. Oh, is he re is he big or small? Small. Is he cute? Jackson's here. Is he cute? He's your brother. No. Oh, okay, gentle. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, that was so smash, smash him. on your head. Yeah. Look at his little hands. a good couple of hours with the boys and they got to meet him and be all over him. I had a shower, something to eat and got ready to go to hospital. Thank God I had already packed my hospital bag. He's so gorgeous, Emily. He's just beautiful. Oh, he looks just like you, Caleb. Right, we're in the ambulance now and we're getting ready to go to hospital. They just checked blood pressure, pulse, all that stuff. The baby, I'm on a stretcher. Cats in between my legs. <laughs> I've got a special baby one. Oh, fabulous. We've got a baby sized one. Oh. This is his pulse. That's it. It's going to be his pulse. Oh, 104, yeah. yeah. Oxygen levels out of 100 or 98. Oh, that's oh, really good. good. That's good, so it can't be too mucus, like, you know, yeah. it's not. Airway's clear, oxygen's good. about nine o'clock at night now and we have settled into the hospital by some amazing stroke of luck we have got our own private room I'll show you it oh it's a bit bright but um yeah so here's my bed here is baby Jackson he's just had a feed and he's so alert like he's really looking around and being so cute oh you got a sneezy He's sneezing, Gorgie. Hello. Hello, Papa. Can you hear my voice? That annoying, weird voice. Hello. Like for someone who's just been born, he's been so alert and awake, and he's got these really beautiful, pale blue eyes, and he's just I'm so in love. I'm so in love. Um, my husband, obviously, I came in an ambulance, so my husband is following behind in the car with the car seat and everything. Obviously, he's not going to stay the night, but I've got to stay the night. We've got to stay for 12 hours to be monitored. But I've got a single room, we've got our own ensuite, and um, I'm really lucky. They said they pulled some strings because they felt like I shouldn't be here. I should been at home with the Prosecco and my X Factor so they've been really really lovely everyone's been so kind and nice and amazing and um, yeah I'm just I literally if I could like bottle this feeling up this is the biggest high you can ever have like I just feel so high and so happy and so like I've got goosebumps and um, yeah I'm just so lucky I'm just so lucky so lucky. Uh, my husband should be here any minute. He's bringing a pizza. Really hope they let him in with it because I'm starving. And um, yeah, we're just gonna hang out and like enjoy our boy. Um, my two older ones, they're at home in bed. So I don't have to worry about them. I'm really gonna miss them tomorrow morning when I'm here. But you know, at least they've got to meet him and they know like mommy just hasn't gone missing. Like they know exactly where I am. I said, we're gonna go to the doctor for Jackson. You are gonna just check him over. But so far, Everything is as normal, his pulse, his blood pressure, everything is good. So they're just monitoring every two hours. Don't know if I should pick him up, it might be a bit windy. But 
he's just making the cutest newborn noises and you know that like, you just forget how tiny they are like Caleb is still my baby really my two-year-old but when you hold him he's tiny right I need to give him a cuddle because he's getting up look at those lips eh look at those beautiful lips and eyes bitty 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 should we cuddle <laughs> He's just had his check and he's all good. And he's mine. <laughs> and he looks just like his brothers. Look at him. See oh. your lips. Give a little smile. <laughs> smile if you like us. Oh, you're pouting. Mm -hmm. Blue steel. Oh, we heard that. He's got the cute little chin as oh, well. Oh, oh hello. Hello. So I start talking. Mm. I'm just dreaming about like, some shush. boobs. Could you shut up? <laughs> I wanted to say thank you so much as well to everyone for all of their support during my pregnancy updates and my live updates on Facebook during the birth. It was so, so special and I've had some really lovely messages about how people had never considered a home birth before but they would now and how nice it is to see a positive birth experience and just loads of well wishes to our family so we really appreciate it. Um, everyone seems to love my husband as well <laughs> even though he never talks on my vlogs he's a bit shy but um, he's really supportive of them but um, yeah he's just a bit shy on them. Thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this delivery story and I'm so glad that he's here and that I didn't have to be induced and yes i'm just gonna go back to being in my baby bubble now and thanks so much for watching bye